this, you know, think illustrator.com. Here you will earn real world skills. I've been teaching Illustrator since 1987, 23 years. I know the things that you're not going to find elsewhere. I'm going to share with you my fashion flat technique for develop, developing fashion flats that other schools and other teachers don't know, don't know, don't understand. How do I know this? Because I get their students. I get students from RISD, FIT, Caltech, New School that wasted their time, wasted their money on inferior training because they weren't taught Illustrator the right way. Here's the correct way. Here's how I get started. First of all, I have a document here. I'm going to bring up my rulers, command and key R. Now I'm on Macintosh. You can do this on Windows, of course. Control R. Anytime you hit reset the command key, it's the control key on Windows. So I'm going to simply drag a guide here. Now it doesn't matter that it's in the center, but I'm just going to put a point of reference here as a guide. I also want to make sure that my guides are locked because I don't want to accidentally erase the guides or delete the guides. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a simple productive way to create fashion flats. I'm going to create one object, reflect it, and create the other objects from this object. Now the correct word here is object because Illustrator is a vector based software program. If it was an image, it'd be pixel based like Photoshop. So object, there's an object menu. Object menu is where you do something to the object. So I get you to think the way Illustrator thinks. Here's how we get started. Letter P for pen tool. I'm simply going to create a half a shirt. So I'm basically create my collar. I'm going to create this shirt here and here. So there's half my shirt. I'm not too happy with that color, so I'll just pick a different color. Now, the first thing I want to do here when I start an Illustrator file is hit the A key. A key is going to select the direct selection tool. Now, once I select the direct selection tool by hitting the A key, you'll never see me select the tool again. Because from this point, from the pen tool, or the marquee tool, or the brush tool, I can simply hold down the command key. The command key will command it to be a direct selection tool. Why the direct selection tool? Because it's the most flexible tool in the program, not the selection tool. Direct selection tool, I can directly select anchor points. So select this object, hit the O key to go to my reflection tool. Pick a point to reflect from, reflect over. Hold down the option key to make a clone copy, the shift key to constrain it. So select these two anchor points and join the object. How do I join an object? How do I do anything about the object? From the object menu, object path, path join. Join the path from the object menu, which happens to be command J if you're on Macintosh, control J if you're on Windows. So I'm now going to go to my preferences, command K, because I set my keyboard increments to 15 pixels. Now, what does that help you with? When I directly select these two anchor points, I can now hit the down arrow and move this 15 pixels down. Now I need to join these two anchor points, Command J, Object, Path, Path, Join, Command J. Okay, now I've created the shirt. Now, another production technique, I have the palettes that I need here to work with. My swatch palette, layer palette, path under palette. These palettes are going to help me to accomplish my goals. So I'm going to change the name of this to shirt. Now here's my objective. I'm going to take the same shirt and create it from the same shirt without reinventing the wheel here. I'm going to create a tank top t-shirt and a tank top dress with pattern. So here's how we do it. I basically drag this down to the new layer icon. This makes shirt copy. Now I want to lock shirt into place and this is called t-shirt. Now to demonstrate this is a separate layer, I'm just going to give it a different color here. So let's give it say green. Okay. So I want to cut the sleeves off the shirt. I hit the L key to select my old tool. I select an oval. Now, if it helps you to see this better to make this a contrasting color, then do that. So right here is I want to cut the sleeves. I go to the 
O key, which is my reflection tool, I pick a point to reflect from, I reflect over, hold down the Option key to make a clone copy, and the Shift key to constrain it. Now, this text up here is all locked into place. Object lock. So I don't have to worry about this being selected. So in this particular case, I'm going to select all. Command A selects all. Go to my Pathfinder, Pathfinder, and select divide. Directly select these anchor points and delete once, twice. Directly select these two anchor points and delete once, twice. Why twice? The first time is the path, the second time is the whole entire object. Now I have t-shirt. Now I'm going to take t-shirt, duplicate t-shirt, and call that tank. Tank top. And important to understand, I need to lock this into place. They don't want to affect this. Let's give this a different color. Let's make this this brown color. So now I go back to my oval tool. Basically, I'm going to cut the, sequence, the section for the tank top. Again, if it helps you make this a separate color to see this here, I go to the reflection tool, pick a point to reflect from, reflect over, holding down the option key to make a clone copy, and shift key to constrain it. Now, I want to create an oval from the center. How do I do this? L key, oval from the center by options for choices. Choices for options, hold down. Option key drags it from the center. So I'm going to cut it into this to make my tank top. Select all, command A is select. I'll go to my pathfinder, select and delete. Select these paths and delete. Select these paths and delete. Select this path and delete. So make a change, save a change. So now I've effectively have a shirt on top of a t-shirt on top of a tank top. Now for the final step, we're going to turn this tank top into a dress. So I hold down the, uh, basically drag this to the new icon. I'll call that tank top dress. And let's give this a different color. Let's give this a blue color. Okay and make sure tank top is locked. So I have tank top on top of this. So how do I make this into a dress? I directly select these anchor points, directly select these anchor points, hold down the command key, hold down the command key, keep it held down and select the anchor points. Go to the scale tool, S for scale, pick a point to scale from, pick a point and drag out and there's your dress. Make a change, save a change. Make a change, save a change. Now, what I want to have happen here, I want to fill the dress with a pattern. I want to use the same color background to fill with my pattern. So I'm going to simply make a simple pattern. I'm going to go to my brush tool, and I'm going to create this shape. I'm going to create that shape. Let's make that this color. I'm going to put a I'm going to create an oh, oh, oh. So this create a very simple pattern. And let's fill it with yellow. Okay. No stroke. So I'm going to select this and turn this into a pattern. Edit. Define pattern. We'll call it tank dress one, just in case we have a two, three, four, five. So I'm basically don't need this now, so I delete it. So I'm gonna fill this with the pattern. Now, I wanna create flexibility. Notice I made a pattern without a background. So I'm gonna select this object, copy command C from the edit menu, and paste it in front, command C, command, F, Windows, Control C, Control F. Paste in front. The one that's in front, I'm going to fill with the pattern. Now, I'm going to lock this into place. I'm going to lock the pattern into place by going to Object, Lock, Selection. Therefore, it makes it very simple to change my background color. So I could change my background color here.
Simple, 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 simple. Now, I decided to scale the pattern. So how do I scale the pattern? Well, first of all, I have to unlock the pattern. Object, unlock, all. So I select, so these are unlocked. So I'm gonna lock this back, Command 2. Select the pattern on top. So this is the solid color and I want to select the pattern, which is this one. Actually, let's lock that, let's lock the background color, Command 2, and select the pattern. Okay. What's that? Okay, there you go. There's the pattern. Now, how do I scale the pattern? Well, the same way I scale anything with the scale tool. So, S for scale, hit the return key, dialog box, options, choices for options, any program, Final Cut, After Effects, I don't care what the program is, dialog boxes help you communicate with the software. So, we're going to scale this at 85%, but not the object, just the pattern. I can repeat that again by hitting Command D for duplicate the object, the transformation, Command D, Command D, Command D. If I want to rotate this, R for rotate. Now, if Illustrator is smart enough to know that you're just rotating the pattern at a 45 degree angle. Command D, Command D, Command D. These are the skills that are going to make you money. These are the skills that are going to make you better than the next person. Get to know Illustrator the right way. Take my classes, watch my videos. I'm here to help you.